Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagal Pajapati and in this video, I am going to discuss you about how we can register a custom data source into a database in PySpark. Okay, so using a PySpark, I would say. Correct. So, you know, uh, there is a uh, there is a, a requirement is that we have a API. Uh, you can say we have a REST API and if I open this REST API in the Google, you can see it gives us the response like this, okay, which has an ID name and data data has some dictionary year price cpu model and sort of thing like we have uh, we have many things over here right so what we have to do uh, okay so what we have to do we have to actually pull this data and save it into a data uh, like data tables like a data tables or a packet table anyway right so what we have to do we have to write write a code look like this correct like api url response request dot get which will hit this endpoint and then we are converting into a JSON and then we are, you know, uh, uh, doing like, I mean, we are fetching it uh, row by row, like we are fetching ID, name and data from data, right? That's what we are doing. it. Now, this is not a very optimized way every time, right? Look, I uh, think about that, that if we have a very huge data in the API, like if we are receiving, uh, if, if we are uh, getting like millions of rows, every day right through our api then it might fail it 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 might fail right and it, it might not give a optimized uh, op optimized way to pull the data i mean it was it 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 won't give a optimized way uh, to you know fetch the data from xyz sources so and the cluster cluster will also not be used in an optimized way okay so with that, what Databricks people have done it, they have introduced the way how we can, you know, register, register a custom source into it and so that the cluster optimization will be optimized. I mean, the cluster, uh, cluster usage will be optimized, right? So what we have to do, see, uh, we, there is a new uh, library, a new, new this like data source and you have to import these two classes like data source and data source reader. Okay, and everything will be same like it is all the previous one, the types, stack types, stuff you know, so. So custom, you, you can provide this name, you can provide any name here, custom data source reader and this class you have to import over here, data source reader. This is the init constructor. So I'm passing here a schema options. And here the schema will be like a stuck type and which will be passed over here with the schema. I'm assigning into the self dot schema variable and we have self dot options. So here we are providing this option. Now we have a read function, right? So what I'm doing, I am just, I have pasted the same code and I am using here yield instead of a list. So I, we should not return a list here. We should return only, a, I mean, we, we should use yield keyword, not the return and it should not be a list. Okay, so before I did a, I mean, I was returning a list, it, it, uh, I mean, it thrown an issue, correct. With, after that, what we have to do, see, we have used data source reader. So we have defined like, uh, what is the source and how to read it. Now we have to register it as a, as a, as a, as a source, right. Uh, so, you know, this is the name we have to register. You can give any name. There is another function called schema, which will have a schema right and returning a schema only and then we have a reader function and which will have a schema and we can also provide an option that's not a problem right for us right so we have a return and we are using this that class the one which we have uh, created over here and then we are registering into it so let me uh, you know run this one by one so that you will also understand it Nice. I'll register over here. And now if I run it, then you will see it returns me all the data. Very good, right? Yep. So, I mean, what is the use of this custom data source? Spark worker utilization when analyze job execution detail, you will notice that compared to the REST API approach, approach the code executes in parallel utilizing all worker node efficiently spike in this example you, we can run multiple tasks simultaneously right but if you approach if you follow this approach there might not be a, a proper cluster or compute utilization 
so the same thing written over here so this is the blog or the documentation of the database right so you can read it uh, correct so if i go above you will be seeing attention to data system and implement data functionality to build out the usable data source which enable from custom you do everything is written over here correct so you can you can just read it one by one so that you will you will get a better idea on it very good now there's one more thing i would like to say uh, there is a uh, we have a lot of courses available on our portal geekcoders.co.in you can see we have a build ai application master in data warehouse 50 interview questions 50 PySpark interview questions and we have couple of packages and so so if you want you can enroll in these courses it will help you a lot to find a job or to get a job right and apart from this i would say see we have already registered this source right now what if if i want to use this uh, source right if i go over here if i you know use this source into a different uh, on different notebook it might fail or it will fail see it is failing it is saying this failed to find the data source geek coder so we cannot use as of now we cannot use uh, uh, you know we cannot use we cannot use uh, the, the, the that custom data source into a different notebook so we have to register over there in the same notebook and then only we can use it everywhere right so yeah i hope that you understood it and a happy holy to everyone uh, sorry I, I i i should have wished at the starting but sorry for that enjoy enjoy holy with beautiful colors and enjoy with your i mean enjoy time with your family members with your friends and so take care bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture